here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. Throughout the universe, you could see how large amounts of energy traveled and entered quickly into the body of Son Goku. That's right, Goku was absorbing all that overwhelming power, which would be felt by every being of the 12 universes, reaching a point that only felt an incredible pressure. The only beings that managed to feel the power of Son Goku was Moro with his generals. After a few minutes, Goku could be observed whose appearance had changed, since the color of his fur would have turned to a purple color, as well as his eyes, and at that moment, Whis and Beerus, who had already recovered, would feel that bestial power being terrified. g goku How did you get all that power? Goku wouldn't say anything, as he seemed to be in a state of shock, while in his mind, Goku was in a huge universe. That's right, it seemed like he was in another galaxy. What the hell is this? What are all these events I observe in my mind? Kenshi, my eternal guardian. I don't understand anything that's happening. At that moment in all the universes that Goku observed, he could see that a huge pentagram was forming. What's that supposed to be? How can all this be happening inside me? Meanwhile, outside of Goku's mind, Broly was on guard watching over Son Goku's body since in that state Goku couldn't do anything as he seemed to be in a dream. Goku is unresponsive. At this point, we could finish off that annoying Saiyan. Mr. Beerus, didn't you understand the lesson? We were just used by that damn Maw. Only Mr. Goku and Broly are able to help us. Beerus, a little annoyed by what Whis said, approached Broly. Saiyan Broly, I'm very sorry about a few months ago. Both Whis and I were being controlled. At this time, please allow us to help you. I would never allow that. You tried to kill us, and this can only be a trap. Returning to the inside of Son Goku, at the moment when all the pentagram would be formed, an incredible Azoru would be observed. Goku would take a few steps back as he felt overwhelmed by the power he felt. Master Kuramo, I know you must have been very confused by everything that's happening, but you and I have met in the past. My name's Goku, not Kuramu. Gramo is your original name, but that doesn't matter. Can you remember me? At that moment, Goku would observe himself next to an immense Uzaru. That's right, Kuramo and Kenichi were the protectors of the 24 universes that existed in the past. How is this possible? I'll explain everything to you, but for now, you must have just to adapt to this power, since the battle we just left unfinished millions of years ago is not over. At that moment, they both felt spheres of energy shaking their whole body. Damn, it seems that we're under attack. That's right, on the outside had arrived 11 remaining servants along with Moro. As the second commander was watching the atmosphere of the planet, he could realize everything that was happening, informing Moro that it was the exact moment to attack. Moro, with his 11 servants, had surrounded all the warriors, especially Goku and Broly. I don't know how they got out of that dimension. I place the king level negative seal, but I don't care about that right now. If it's just one, they won't be able to do anything to us. So, you're the one mainly responsible for sealing us in that damn place. <laughs> That's right, it wasn't complicated at all to manipulate the god of this universe. Pierce would step forward. Those Saiyans are the only ones capable of defeating you, so I won't let you exterminate them. Broly. I'm sorry for betraying you, but I'll take care of them. Escape from here. Don't say stupid things. These guys will kill you. I can handle all of them. Broly would launch an attack. That's right, Broly had enough power to keep a fight with one of them. However, when he got attacked by two or more, he was brutally wounded. Broly would fall to the ground to get up furious, but at that moment, Beerus would get in front of Broly. I never used this technique, but it's time to use it. I'm sorry. At that moment, Beerus would touch Broly along with Son Goku, sending them flying across the universe at an impressive speed. Damn it! First and second commander, follow them immediately. Sir, we can't figure out how fast they're going since they seem to be teleporting at every moment. In that instant, Beerus would raise his power to the maximum to try to dull the key of both Saiyans. Beerus would transform, but...
something notorious was that this time he was releasing much more power than in previous battles. You must not dirty your hands, Morosama. I'll take care of this guy. At the moment that the seventh general finished saying those words, he would be pierced with a strong blow and reduced to atoms. Today is a great day to die. And if I die, I'll take the most of you with me. I'll not go to hell alone. Beerus would rush at his maximum speed against all of Moro's servants, being able to end the lives of two of them. However, at that moment, Beerus was attacked together, being seriously wounded. One of his servants would launch a large sphere of energy, but before it hit Beerus, Whisk would face this great attack. Mr. Beerus, I tend to fight by your side in this battle. Whisk at this moment would create an energy field so that both would not be so wounded, and at that moment, both deities used the fusion. What did you say we see who gets to go to hell faster? Weirdus went on the attack against all the other servants of Moro. Meanwhile, with Goku and Broly, both had arrived at a planet. That god really gave his life for us. He's earned all my respect. Go back inside Goku, Kenichi was showing him everything that they had experienced. And feeling that they were no longer in danger, Kenichi could do it much more calmly. So you're my guardian and my partner. You're right, and now finally, after millions of years, we meet again. Goku at that moment was able to remember everything he had experienced with Kenichi. Absolutely everything, since his new memories had totally merged with his old memories. Thank you, my friend. I always knew we could meet again. At that moment, Goku would open his eyes and a big explosion would be created. Since Goku did not control his new powers, the explosion had been so big that it had been observed by the warriors who were fighting. So son Goku has finally woken up. My work here is done. I hope someday you'll forgive me, son Goku. Weirus would continue to risk all his battle spirit and his energy veins were about to explode. That's right, the power he was using was a power that went beyond all his limits. That moment all the smoke from the explosion dissipated, Broly would approach Goku. Goku, are you alright? That's right, Broly. I just remembered all my past life, or in other words, my second root has totally merged with me. Broly wouldn't understand anything, but when he realized everything that had happened, he would tell him everything that Beerus and Wiz had done for them. So, they were the only collateral damage of that damn moor. I won't forgive him. Right now, we'll go finish them off. Are you 100% Goku, because the power of those guys is enormous. You're the legendary Saiyan. Those guys scare you? I can't believe it. Broly, let's go and crush them all. Don't hold back. Goku and Broly would teleport away. At that moment, all the servants were beating up Weirus. You claim to be powerful, but you're not ashamed to attack one among many. You have no dignity as a warrior. Don't say stupid things. You are no one to talk to us like that. Goku at that moment would return to see the seventh servant making it explode. That's right, Goku, with the power he had obtained, had so much power that he could make things kneel before him. <laughs> he, he, he really is the Super Saiyan God. He possesses the blood of the first Saiyan God. Well, well, who's next? All of the servitors would throw themselves against Goku, however, Broly would be able to give a blow to two of them. That's right, Broly could hold off even a battle against two of them, while Goku was able to take on the rest of them without any difficulty. You didn't let me show you my true power before. Let's see what you think of this. Broly began to increase his power. That's right, Broly's power had gone to a completely divine key, his fur would turn to a reddish color, and his power had increased dozens of times. Now I'm ready. Moro, who was watching everything that happened, was in panic. I can't believe that those two Saiyans are so powerful that even more than their predecessors. I won't let them put an end to my plans. Moro would begin to raise to the sky. That's right, Moro was executing a curse technique. The moment the whole planet began to be warped in lightning. Curse technique, chains of rapture. Multiple spears in the forms of chains would be shot at his servants who would be pierced by such a bestial attack. What is Moro-sama supposed to do? I'm sorry, my servants, but my life is much more important. 
So I'll take all your power and thus recover the overwhelming power I had before. Goku and Broly were watching as Moro absorbed all of his teammates, not caring about them begging for their lives. Stop talking, you damned insects. You're only here to do my will. At that moment, Moro's body would light up. That's right, Moro had to transform. Moro had rejuvenated a few years, and his power also increased in an impressive manner. I hope you're ready, because now you'll fight with me. Goku would stand in front of Moro. By finishing with your allies, you just did us a favor because now you won't have anyone to stand in the way of your death. Don't make me laugh, you damn Saiyan. Even though you have the blood of the first Saiyan God, you're not him. He means your father's blood. He was one of the first to be my carrier. I understand. Thanks for the information. Moro, you won't be able to fight me. You don't have enough power. You better get out of my sight and I'll spare your life. Damn monkey. I'll crush you with my own hands. I knew you'd say that, because if you left, I was going to kill you anyway. I can't let someone live who made my family betray me. Goku and Moro would begin to exchange blows. The clash of their fists was so impressive that when they collided, they disintegrated planets. However, from one moment to another, Goku would give him a hammer blow, sending him to the bottom of the planet. Goku would continue with the attack without letting him breathe. Goku would humiliate Moro for approximately 30 minutes until he'd get tired. I'm already satisfied and your pride is in pieces, Moro. I don't want to see your disgusting face again. Goku and Broly would leave. However, Moro would throw an attack at them. Furious, Goku would return the attack with much more powerful key slingshot, reducing him to atoms. What they did not know was that they were being watched by a much more powerful being. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.